We're at James Collins Wildlife Management Area. We got a turtle. Sampling for reptiles and amphibians. Oh yeah, and the trap right here. To check out diversity for the state. Got an acris. But also to check for the presence of a few different infectious diseases that are affecting um, reptiles and amphibians in neighboring states. And we just don't even know if they're here in Oklahoma, so now we're checking. So there are two diseases specifically that are affecting amphibian populations. One is, um, it's the disease that they get from it is called chytridiomycosis, and we just call it chytrid. And it's a fungal disease. It eventually will kill them. The other one is basically a, a series of diseases that are all caused by rena viruses. Rena meaning frogs. and. Um, those also can lead to death, and those can be even carried in turtles, so we can also test all of our turtles for those. I, with snakes, really like to bare hand them. The number one thing that most people um, discuss when they're looking at frog populations and things like that is the fact that if there aren't any, then all the, there's way more insects. All right, so this is part of our project where we collect water from ponds. Uh, the goal is really cool. To, sexy idea in science, it's called environmental DNA. You know, you might not see a turtle uh, that is down in the bottom in the mud, but you might get some of its DNA and be able to positively say, hey, it was here at some point when we collected. Fieldwork is a chance to get out there and really enjoy what you don't get to see when you're hanging out in town or in your, in your apartment or home. You really don't get to come into contact with all of the cool things um, that you learn about in biology. Oh yeah, we got one. Yeah, I got an Icarus. It's a good sized one. <laughs>